Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel, Learning with Boys. I'm a homeschool mom of 13 years. Uh, my boys are ages 9 to 19 now. Um, I just want to talk about science, which I can't say is my best subject, at least in the older years. And that's what I'm going to start out with. I'm going to start out with high school and what we've used. Um, the first thing that I want to mention is biology, which was apologia, exploring creation. And my two older boys have taken this at a co-op. They're two different co-ops. The teachers were a blessing and um, I think that really made a difference in this subject for them. My second one still mentions things. We'll talk about things, especially all now that's going on in the world. And he'll be like, oh yeah, I learned that in biology. I feel like it was beneficial. Would it have been if we just did it by ourselves? Probably not, because this is not one of my top subjects. I probably would have found some type of video or something for them. Um, but that went well for them at, under a co-op setting. Another thing that we have used is the 101 series. This is the chemistry one, and we also have the physics. And those went well. There's a lot of print, you print off a whole book, and labs they're supposed to do. And this went really well for them. Um, my oldest is actually really into math. This does not require a lot of math. So it depends on what you're looking for. But he did it and he did fine and so did my second one. And my second one also did the physics. I remember which one did it. But I think, it, yeah, it was my second son that did the physics 101. I want to mention those. We really enjoy these debating on. I don't have the biology one. Um, and I'll tell you why I'm thinking about whether I should do that or not. And I've mentioned this in my curriculum for my ninth grader that he is doing the integrated physics and chemistry from Paradigm um, Accelerated Curriculum. And we do this through the curriculum that we use, which is Heart of Dakota. It's scheduled in their guide and it's going well. Definitely think we want to use something different next year for sure. And, but, um, it does have lab and things like that. So it's just reading, answering questions. I think there's about, I don't know, 10 of these and then the activities questions. So we've never done a program like this, but for him it's going well. I mean, it's pretty much read and answer questions. He's not a big law person anyway, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do for biology next year. It probably will not be a co-op. So that's why I was thinking, I don't know if anybody's done the biology 101, but I know there's a lot of options out there. So we'll see. So that is pretty much what we've done for high school, for science. For middle school age, my oldest, we did do the Apologia General Science. Um, well, we at least, you know, made an effort to get through it. It's not my favorite. I haven't picked it up again. Um, but each family is different. Some people love science, and I think that really makes a difference if that is the direction in the interest of your family and your children, then it might be a good fit. Um, for us, it wasn't. <laughs> now, in eighth grade, we used Heart of Dakota Missions to Modern, and he just used the science that they had for the eighth grade. And then in ninth grade, he went on to do the biology at a co-op, which worked out great. We've also used some other things, and I will show you actually this, these two books. I'm trying to remember if they were both books, but I know that this book was used in the Heart of Dakota 8th grade science. It was not the, they have several things through there, but this was one of the books, and it was my first experience with this book by John Hudson Tenner, and he has, a, I think, a whole series, and it was really good. My son enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, I mean, he read it, but I read through it too, and it was really good. Um, so when my second son came around, I seen that Master Books had concepts of earth and chemistry, which included that particular book. So I grabbed the teacher's book, and I actually already had the planet and earth, and of course I had this book already. So he just did one book one semester, and the next book the next semester, and I wish I could tell you if that was in seventh or eighth grade, I don't remember. <laughs> But he did do that in like middle school. And then they have also Master Books has 
this applied engineering, which I would definitely say is more like a middle school. It says seventh through ninth. I don't know. I mean, we aren't, like I said, science is not our top thing, but I even think this would be definitely seventh or eighth. I couldn't find all of the books, but I do have the D Discovery of Design, and it's going to be a similar concept to um, the other one I just showed you. I would probably do this one in seventh and the other one in eighth. But, you know, Masterbooks has a, a lot of choices right now that I'm trying not to think what my fourth grader might be interested in at that time. But if that's something, and I'll show you the inside. If you have not seen, I know there's so much out there. This is pretty much has the schedule in the front. Um, like what to read and what pages to do, what worksheets to do. It's very open and go. I don't know if there was really any experiments with it, but you, I mean, you could buy a kit. I don't know if there was on the site either. And then there was just worksheets that went with it. And they're both this way. And just questions, and then a dig deeper. And that could be something, maybe you have a couple that are in middle school and they could work on it together and then switch. So, but they have other, good um, science programs for the middle school age. Okay, some other things that I want to mention, um, and I did a whole video for like elementary science, so I'm just going to show you the book that, considering God's creation, they have a teacher's book, and then um, this is the teacher's book, tells you what to do, has um, a lot of information in there, and then the student book is more of like hands-on things they cut out. It's definitely elementary, but it's really, really good. And it's one of the ideas I put out there. We enjoyed science when they were younger a lot. I guess for me, I'm the teacher, I'm the parent. I do know that it falls under what I'm gonna do and how much they'll enjoy it. And I think just high school level was not something I wanted to be teaching for science anyways. Like I enjoy math, but I don't know, science <laughs> was different. So, but like we made a little plant book and this was one of the pages that we pulled out of there. And I, I mentioned all this in the science video. And that was when they were like, you know, first to third grade and they really, the boys really enjoyed this and each one of them, we did stuff like this with them. When they got a little bit older in elementary, they were able to do some of the Young Explorer series through Apologia. Um, I'm showing you the workbooks because I don't have the, the reader. Well, I have this one. The Flying Creatures one, which is book one in their zoology series. And I have... They had the opportunity to do these at co-ops. So, and I have done one on my own with them, but I really feel like the co-op setting is good for apology books, <laughs> for their science books. If we do science at home when they were younger, I preferred to do like whatever, like if we were interested in plants and that's what we wanted to talk about, we would dig deeper and we would explore books and we would make like a folder like I showed you, or if we wanted to study clouds or, um, you know, with the weather or things like that. That's more how it worked if I wanted to do it on my own. But for a co-op setting and the teacher doing a little bit more emphasis like my one of my boys really enjoyed this in sixth grade he had the opportunity to take it at a co-op and my other son was taking biology so um i just wanted to give you thoughts on that but if science is you and your family's thing you may be able to expound on this and really get into it so i wanted to show you a couple other books my boys just enjoy looking through and that's these um here's one on fossils here's one on weather. I have another one on there about astronomy. Um, and I noticed that Masterbooks also has these. Um, and I think that's who they're from. I think I may have got them used, so I wasn't sure where I bought them. But then I realized they even have a lesson book that I showed you that would guide you to what they could do every day. And that might be middle school age. Um, and I think that would be really good. 
I don't know. I haven't looked into that. Right now my son in fourth grade is doing Heart of Dakota and he's just doing the science with preparing hearts for his glory. And I think I may try to just go along with the science each year with Heart of Dakota and see how that goes. So, but I'll keep you posted on what we do. To let you know if you are a little interested in Heart of Dakota that they use a variety. Like they will actually use Apologia for a couple years. Um, I think it's actually the next two years. They'll use the the animal one and then the astronomy one. But it's with other books. It's not all by itself and it will be scheduled in the gu guide exactly what to do. I think with the animal one, I have a catalog in front of me. Okay, I know for the one next year, which is Creation to Christ, they actually do use the Zoology 3, but they also use some books, several different books about birds, and then they also use the Exploring History of Medicine, which I think is by Tinner also, the one that I showed you, the chemistry book. And then I know the next year after that, they use the Astronomy one. So they use a variety of different, and that would be with some other books too. It's not all by itself. So they use a variety of different things um, and curriculum, which I do like because it gives you the opportunity to try those different things. I just wanted to give you an idea of what Heart of Dakota uses for the science. I appreciate you all watching this video. I just wanted to show you some science ideas and my thoughts, um, especially from someone who is not, science is not their main subject. And maybe that would help you, give you some ideas that that's okay. You could still do it. It'll still all work out. Please share below what you all do. Maybe there's one out there that um, I don't know about. I mean, I've got one going into 10th grade that needs to do biology next year, and it's not going to be at a co-op. So not sure how we're going to do that. Love to hear your thoughts, and even on elementary and middle school science. I appreciate it, you all watching, and I hope you all have a good week. Thank you so much.